Dog Tales. Mist's mum, Gail, has worked very hard all her life. In sunshine, in snow, with fierce ewes, with helpless lambs, and with her own puppies. She deserves a long rest in her old age, so today she is retiring from sheepdog work. Gail, welcome to your new home. Like the elderly Swift, she can move out of the kennels and take a cosy basket in the boss's farmhouse. Oh, what's for lunch today? Roast chicken on a Tuesday. Oh, my favourite. <laughs> Gail was looking forward to her comfortable new life with Swift, but someone was not at all pleased. Fern. How come she's got the lush life and I'm still sharing a kennel with Jake and his terrible wind? Oh, oh, what? I've been a much better sheepdog than Gail. This is just not on. Tickle my belly. Fern was envious. All right, Smiler, what's up? Gail, why does the boss let her live in the kitchen and not me? Is it because you smell of boiled cabbage and burnt hair? Shut up, Jake. Anyway, sir, why would you want to sleep in a silly old farmhouse when you've got lovely, damp straw and your old buddy Jake, eh? Huh? That was me. <sighs> Good night, Jake. Yeah, nighty nighty. Ouch. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Fernie. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. And Fern did have sweet dreams about a lazy life of luxury in the farmhouse. Cozy. Toasty. Peaceful. The next morning, Fern hatched her plan. Whilst the boss was away, she'd get Gail out of the kitchen and take her place. Gone for the whole day, is he? Off to Wales to get some more help for the farm. We'll need it now you've retired. See you later, Fern. Morning, Morning Fern! Whatever. Oh, suit yourself. I'm off to watch telly. Must be time to eat again in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. On my paw, on my paw, on my paw, on my paw. So, what's the big plan then, Stan? I'm going to trick Gail out of the kitchen so I can jump in her bed. Oh, and when the boss gets home, he'll see you there and let you stay forever. You're not as stupid as you look. <laughs> I am. So how are you going to get Gail out? Ducks. Oh, where? <sighs> I'll get the ducks to pretend there's an emergency that needs Gail's help. Oh, that's a perfect plan. It cannot fail. Yep. Oh, I haven't been in here in ages. Is that a rhododendron? Jake and Fern rounded up their feathered friends. The ducks would pretend that they needed Gail's help. And once she left the kitchen, Fern would jump in her bed. Oh, Just yeah, jump yeah. up, Steve. It's not that high. I'm a duck, not a kangaroo. Oh, here, settle my head. Ground floor going up. Bing. Oh, hello. <laughs> right, here. Get that door. Oh. What's going on out there? Oh, hello there, ducks. Is there anything I can do for you? Okay, say, Gail, we need your help. Gail, we need your help. Whatever's the matter? Tell her there's trouble at the pond. Oh. Trouble at Pond! Oh dear, what sort of trouble? It's on fire! Jake! It's on fire! On fire? No, you nincompoop! No, you nincompoop! No need to be rude! She told me to say it! Who did? Shut up, you nitwit! Shut up, you nitwit! Well, if you're gonna be like that, I shan't help you! Ask Jake instead! I'm already here, Gail! Jake! What's the problem? The pond's on fire, apparently! Right on, on my way! Pond, 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 pond. Unbelievable. If you want something done properly, never ask Jake. Or ducks. Time to get some sheep involved, I think. Oh, yeah, because they're really clever. Straight away, Fern rounded up a flock of ewes and drove them into the garden. Surely this would get Gail out of the house. I can't believe you actually want to stick with the garden, Fern. That's right, Winnie. Eat as much as you like. Gail, get an eyeful of this. Oh, no, Swift. They'll eat all the boss's lovely vegetables. Let's get him out of there. Yes, my plan is working. Oh, no, not so quick, Gay. Leave it to me. You can't handle that lot on your own, Swift. I don't intend to. Ernie! Come in, Mum. 
Yeah. What are you lot doing in the garden? Scram! Come on, get out! Oh, no! Fern never said that bruiser would be here. Stop eating the flowers and get back to your field. Oh, I haven't got the oomph to argue with her. Go on, Scram! Oh, Go on, that's... on your way. Come on, Come on, out Easy of it. Easy does it. No hassle. Put... Oh, dear. Thanks, Ernie. Yet another of Fern's naughty plans had failed. How on earth am I going to get her out of there? Swift, what time's dinner? Not till the boss gets home. Are you hungry again already? Ravenous. Aha, got it. If there was one thing Gail could not ignore, it was her belly. Gail? Oh, Gail! Are you there? Oh, yes, Fern. Oh, come in. Oh, thank goodness. Whatever's the problem? Oh, there's no problem, Gail. It's just that I was out on the cliffs and I saw a pasty. A pasty? Sitting on the bench by Mort Point. I thought I'd leave it for you. Oh, it's a long way. Well, if you don't want it, I'll tell Mist. I'm sure oh, no, 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 I'll go. I love a pasty. <laughs> Bingo! Finally, one of Fern's cunning tricks had oh, worked. The kitchen. Good luck with the pasty, Gail. Pasty, pasty, pasty. Oh, so warm. Oh. <laughs> Pasty, pasty, oh, I can almost taste it. Oh, it's so soft. Pasty. Ah, oh, the bench. Now, where is it? Oh, blither. Someone must have got here first. Would you believe it? The pasty was gone. Oh, um, Fern? Mm hmm. You're in my bed. Wrong. I'm in my bed. But I've retired, not you. Well, the boss clearly made a mistake. When he sees me here, he'll realize. Maybe we could share. Only room for one. Bye. Oh, uh, bye then. <laughs> this is the life. <laughs> it's just not fair, Gail. That bed is yours, not Fern's. Oh, let sleeping dogs lie, Ernie. Little problems like this work themselves out in the end, you'll see. Listen, sounds like the boss is on his way back. With our new helper, all being well. <laughs> I can't wait for him to see me. <gasps> Hello. <gasps> Hello. Oh, we're home. That must be my replacement. <gasps> Sweet little thing, isn't she? Firm, <laughs> I think so, though. No, I don't think she will, Ernie. <laughs> Hello? 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 Nothing but Hello? nothing annoys Fern Hello? more than puppies. <laughs> Hello, I'm Fly. Who are you? Are you Mist or are you Ernie? Or are you Gail or are you Swift or are you Eddie or are you Jake? Small, grumpy smells of cabbage. It must be Fern. Are you Fern? It is, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I like your bed, Auntie Fern. Can I sleep on it too? You surely will can't. And I'm not your auntie. Oh, what's up here? <gasps> I can see more dogs. They're laughing, Auntie Fern. <laughs> Stop wagging on me. I like down here now, shall I? Fly, don't touch me. Fly, don't touch me. And you can stop that too. And you can stop that too. I won't tell you again, Fly. I won't tell you again, Fly. Fly, you are the naughtiest puppy I have ever Auntie met. Auntie Fern, you are the grumpiest dog I've ever met. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore you. I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> So anyway, I had a lovely journey here with the boss all the way from Mumbles, which is where I'm from. Well, I'm from near there, but that's what I said. Most Soon of enough, anyway, Fern said, was desperate to get some peace and quiet. Exactly what oh, I for be goodness sake. Like, where are you going? See you later then. I'll lie down here now, shall I? Tidy. Gail, I finished in the kitchen. Now it's all yours. See? Told you these things work themselves out. Fern. Fern. Did you miss me? A little bit. I missed you. Oh, Fern, cheer up. I can let you retire. You're too good a sheepdog for that. <laughs> Jake, did you hear that? <laughs> Fern was delighted with the boss's kind words and was glad that she was still a working sheepdog. And at the farmhouse, Gail adored the new puppy, Fly. 
everyone was happy again on Butter Farm. And we'll be here again to see Miss Dawn Windcutter die.